In this tutorial, you will learn how to navigate inside your project and find the best composition, how to set and adjust your camera's position, and how to set up your camera settings, such as vertical tilt correction, controlling the camera's target, depth of field, and render output size. Now let's dive in! Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you and I hope you're well and doing great. As many of you ask about the camera position and setup, I decided to make this video to complete the previous part of my tutorials. If you need to learn how to set up the camera, I suggest you watch camera basic tutorial I put in here. Or if you need to learn how to light up your exterior scene using V-Ray HDRI or V-Ray Sun, click on the interactive card here. First, I need to navigate inside my scene to see the entire street and decide which direction is the best and present my work in the best way. In my opinion, in such a scenes, you have to look for the angle that the street will continue on every side, so you have the chance to add more objects like cars, trees, and maybe people on the sidewalk later in the post-production. Note that, at the end of the street, the road should not remain open or left unmodeled. To fix this problem and also navigate better, press the upper arrow key and then click on your scene to activate the walkthrough mode. So by clicking and dragging your mouse cursor, you will be able to see the environment. And also, by pressing and holding the mouse wheel, you can shift the camera's body to somewhere else. As you see, the camera target is head to the ground, so I need to shift it up a little to correct the composition. Well, I think the camera position is good, just need to adjust the camera direction. So now, what I'm gonna do is to press the Ctrl plus C to create the camera in this position. Click on the camera name and select the camera to enable the camera modifier. By pressing the C key, you will be directed to camera point of view. Also, the camera modifier will be enabled. Now I select the move tool to reposition the camera a little cause for having a correct composition I have to consider the photographer's height. Then I select the target and start making some changes to the camera target. As you may notice, when I drag it up or down, the Z dimension looks off, and that's because of the lack of vertical tilt on my camera lens. To solve this problem, go to the camera modifier, perspective control, and enable auto vertical tilt. Now if you go too far, it won't be harmed. As you can see, there are trees on both sides of the street along the road, and at the end of the road, you see a building that cuts off the escape point. Let me adjust the camera a little bit more. Now it looks perfect. Let's go to the modifier tab and talk about the camera settings. 
One of the key options to the camera is the POV or point of view, which determines how wide or close the lens has to be. Wide view works best for the environmental scenes, and close view works best for rendering close-up shots and focusing on your main object. Also note that the safe frame has to be enabled because you need to see the final area that fits in your render. Well, I try to keep everything that's important in the frame. I'll add a sky later in post-production. I think this camera position looks great for such architectural rendering or photography. Now let's dive into the opposite situation, I mean close-up shots, so I can add some depth of field. I'll begin this part after a very short break. Okay, here is a new challenge. I'm gonna change the output size from landscape to portrait mode just to experience something new for the sake of demonstration. Once you set your output size, you have to reposition the camera or change the POV amount to bring the car in front of the camera. First, you have to find the overall composition. Then you set your camera down and start correcting the target. For close-up shots, especially when you are shooting cars, you have to show the car as a valuable thing, so you need to take the camera down a bit. Press Ctrl C to set the camera. Now I select the camera and the car and then I press isolate button. Go to the top view.
change the target's distance and enable the depth of field here you can see the depth of field as I reduce the aperture amount you will see the depth of field is going to be limited more The focus should start where the car is parked and cover the closer part of the car. Okay, everything is good. Now let's render a shot to see the result. As you see, the car is in focus and the environment is blurred. That's it for me guys, hope you like this video, please hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next videos. See you soon, have fun!